guest from Germany. He is he used to be a famous pilot and now he is a famous speaker, considered one of the best speakers in Germany, successful keynote speaker, and Peter Brandel. Thank you so much for coming. I'm very happy Thank to see you. Thank and you my first that. question to you. Uh, as a pilot, and uh, what do you think? Can we use some tips for businesses, for people just to survive in the era when there is military operations, when there is a pandemic, when there is chaos? For many people, I receive the messages. They say, Olga, we live in the era of turbulence. And turbulence is the word I'm listening every day in the airplane. And they say we fed up to live in the turbulence because our nerve system are giving up. We are not cosmonauts. We are not Russian cosmonauts, astronauts. We are normal people. Can you give us some tips? Yeah, the thing, the thing is quite easy. A plane is steered. Yeah, is managed by, by people, a business is managed by people, a country is managed by people. So it makes sense if something happens or goes wrong to think, okay, what can we learn from each other? And if you're talking about a pilot uh, or about a plane, for example, when you have, when you have problems on a plane, usually, usually when you're flying as a pilot, it's boring. There's nothing. You're just bored. So if we both, Olga, you and me, if we would go to a, to a flight simulator, I think I, I would need maximum of two days to teach you in a simulator how to fly an Airbus or a Boeing or an Illusion or whatever from A to B. After two days, you would be able to fly an Airbus, let's say, from Moscow to Berlin. Yeah, And the landing, maybe it will not be the smoothest one, but it will be okay. So after two, after two days, you will be able to fly this aircraft, but it has to be ideal conditions. It has to be, everything around you has to be perfect. Weather has to be fine. You have to, be in, have to have enough fuel. The aircraft has to work properly. Everything has to be perfect. And this is the same in life. Most of the time, everything, is, uh, everything works and we are just bored. So think, think about, you just mentioned some, think about before pandemic, yeah, before pandemic, business was, was going well. And, we, and we, we wrote, Katya and I, we wrote a book. This is called The, the Future Code. It's, unfortunately, it's only in German. And this was talking about uh, digitalization. And everybody told us, yeah, it's good. Yeah, and it may happen maybe in a few years, but not now and not for us. And then COVID came and worked just like a catalysator and speeded up everything. So the thing is, in, in, in an aircraft, everything is boring, but when you have a problem, it comes to the point where you have to ask yourself, did I waste my resources beforehand? Then you have a problem. Or did you think about how to manage your, to your resources? This is called crew resource management. And then you have the chance to manage the problem. And this means we have to think about, okay, how to manage our resources and to give you one, let's start with one direct tip, what you can do. Um, people are asking so often, is it enough what I am doing or am I able to, to manage this? You, you, something is just Because they need a situation, you know, Peter, they need somebody to say, it's like in school, yes, 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 like your mama is saying, yes, Peter, you're doing right. You just want, you know, to be yeah, sure, okay. then, tell you, then, you know? then I'm telling everybody who is listening, listening right now, you are doing right at the moment. In fact, you are doing right if you are doing something. And this is the, this is the kind of question. When you, when, you, when you are sitting in a plane and you have problems, the question, who is guilty, does not help you. If your engines are on fire, there's no help in knowing who screwed it up. You just have to manage the problem. You have to think about what can we do now? Not who's guilty, who screwed it up, and not is it enough what we are doing. You just have to think about what can I do now and then do it. And this is the same. I don't care where you are right now. If you are in Germany, in Russia, in Middle East, in Saudi Arabia, in Dubai, wherever you are right now, there are things you, 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 which would make sense, but you can't do them right now. But there's, there are a lot of things. You just 
get up and do them just do them and this is the first and most Peter, important thing. but you cannot do you know okay i talk with people who are losing money on their shares they get yeah. used to earn a lot and now they said olga for one day i lost sixty thousand dollars for them it's disaster it's you know what yeah. they were building the other people they're send, say, telling okay i'm losing my health because of the COVID. the third person is saying i'm watching you i'm losing my nerve system because it looks like soon there will be hunger there will be no fuel there will be so how can you act if everybody to less more or less in stress you see all people more or less how you connect in your airplane when you worked not everybody was in stress every moment you had turbulence so you had problems 15 minutes 15 minutes of flight not all your flight it was like this uh, you were everything smooth, as you said, and then there was problem. But now there is problem. Always there is problem. Tell me when there is no problem. How to survive that? Well, at least the question, the answer is again very simple. Um, what is really the problem? Just imagine if you would sit in my plane, you would sit in the back, I'm in the front, and we have this this problems, not only turbulences. Turbulences are not nice, but you know, it's turbulences. Yeah? By the way, this but, turbulence is not dangerous, yeah? Yeah, the turbulence is not dangerous. Yeah, but we have a real problem. Our engines are on fire. Do you really think if our engines are on fire, you think that you think about the $60,000 you just lock, lost no. in your... Listen, okay. okay. so we have to, we have sometimes to remember the question, what is really important? What is really important? So, uh, if, if you, if there is, if, if there would only be one hour left, whom would you call? This may give you an, a, the direction. And I think sometimes it makes sense to focus. I think it just makes sense to focus again. And what we, what you do in an aircraft, if you have really problems, that the first thing is you are trained to think about to focus to what is the problem. And what can I do right now? Yeah. So, and, 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 and this is, if everybody panics, there's, this is not the reason for you to also panic. It just makes no sense. So if the passengers are screaming in the back, it makes no sense for me as a pilot to scream as well. If you want to handle a problem, and I would say, if you want to hand, handle any problem, it makes sense to focus on the question, what is the problem? What makes the problem for me to be a problem? And what can I do now? And sometimes, sometimes the, it, 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 it may be helpful to just remember what is really important in your life. And if you think, if you have kids, for example, if you have children, or if you have family, or if you have people you love, you care for, and you just remember them, this sometimes brings the, 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 the travels back into the right direction. And we are living in the time right now. I hope nobody gets this wrong, what I'm saying right now. But the, 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 the problems we have are usually elite problems. We lost money. We... we uh, Honestly, my, my business, I'm a professional speaker. I own, I own my money or I earn my money by doing professional speakings on, on big stages. During the last two and a half years, almost any stage was canceled. So my business broke down when COVID, and by 100%, I had a 100% decrease in my, in my earnings. So I had severe business troubles, but I'm healthy. I haven't, I have, enough food i have a roof over my head and it's not so far it's just two hours of flight where people have to face really different problems and, Peter, and this, for you, this as, as, a, as a person from germany which yeah. is not very usual um, because uh, we have the image that uh, german people are very pragmatic in a good way in a good way they come in time they keep the word they think about the money you are not looking very German. For me, you look more Spanish, <laughs> Italian. And uh, what are you? Are you sure you are hundred percent German? And even the subject you choose, being a speaker, which is not very typical. You you behave not very typical. 
I, I could I could use some some German word like Vermieter Pfandrechts Verzichtserklärung. So everybody, after just this one word, you believe I, I am a German. And you know what the fact is? The more I travel, um, the more I have to admit that I am a German. Yeah, of course I I like to I like to see myself in the picture of more southern, more I love it when you say, Hey, you look Italian or you look Spanish. Really? Do you think so? Yeah. I, I, I like it of course, but when I'm abroad, when we, 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 we have lots of business in the United States, for example, we so we travel back and forth between Los Angeles and, and uh, Berlin. And when we meet our American business partners and we make a date with them, they are asking, okay, is it the German time or is it ours? So I just have to admit, I like some kind of efficiency. But this, this again means to focus on, on some things. It just means focus on what is the problem. You have a problem, you have to care. Stop crying. Yeah? The, you, do you know Poo the bear? This this comic um, figure, the small bear from in the, in the children's yeah. tale. There's a saying by Pooh the bear: "Don't cry over spilt milk." Yeah, yeah, it's it's gone. So the, the the solution always is in the future. So if you have a problem, don't look back. Never but look. the thing is, of course, you want to compare. Oh, it was so nice one year ago. It was so great two years ago. We didn't have military operations. We didn't have pandemic. The world was so good. So you recommend, uh, you know, in French they say réfléchir. Not to réfléchir, yeah? Not to remember, forget about it and think, start from the scratch or how? You can, you can, you can do it. You can, you can feel sorry with yourself, but then make sure you do it the right way. Have some, some good red wine or a bottle of vodka, some chocolates and something good. Then one evening of crying and feeling sorry for myself, but feeling sorry for yourself and complaining will never be the solution. Never. It makes feel good because we are hurt. And of course, this hurts. And yeah, look, this hurts. And mine is even worse than yours is. Yeah. But the solution always lies in the future. And this is the, the this metaphor I'm using. If we are again in the aircraft and something happens, it's not my fault. If an engine explodes, it's not my fault. But you as the passengers don't care. You just don't care if it's my fault or not. You just want me to find a solution. And your kids, if something happens, yeah, your kids, they don't care. Okay, there's some political tr trouble right now. So this is maybe the reason we don't have so much food as we are. They are just hungry and they're just telling your mama, bring food. And then so mama goes. You recommend in a way to be more realistic, to <clears throat> not to feel sorry for yourself, not to complain, uh, to eat this chocolate one evening and forget about that and start acting, start being so, proactive. Yeah, so, sometimes sometimes we need to have these 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 down evenings. Yeah, we need to have this. I'm feeling sad. I'm I'm not the I'm not the the, the typical motivational guy who just say, hey, you just have to. You have to this is sometimes we are just hurt we are just hurt and we are we are we are we, we, we people we are vulnerable and this is good that we are vulnerable and some sometimes we are just hurt and 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 it it hurts and we have to sometimes we need a little time to to care about ourselves but if we want to solve the problem then regrets and and complaining does not help it just does not help yeah what From, do you think? A man and a woman, they can both solve the problems or you think it's more prerogative of the man and men are better in doing that or you think it doesn't matter? I would say... Because in I, Russia, you know, there is strong separation. This is for men. Man is the head of the family and normally he's the leader and he's providing, he's paying the bills. It's a little bit... Uh, maybe for you conservative all today, a little bit like an Arabic world, you know? I personally, but this is my personal point of view. We, and we have, we have, of course, we have cultural differences, yeah, between, in my, some countries, there is more a traditional role model, in other countries, it's more, 
from what I know from psychology, from I know from gender studies and from I know from personal experience, I would say it does not make any difference. There are some differences, the way you handle a problem. But if I have to choose for one gender, I would actually say that women are more able to solve real problems. Yeah, because if just imagine, just imagine a woman uh, that sees her children offended or uh, by somebody. She's going to defend them, yes. Yeah, Everyone she is, is going. going to, yeah, she's going to help. She will and she's going to find a way to help. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. Uh, when it comes to the men, I'm not so sure. Men have more testosterone and they are more aggressive and they can more, um, maybe we, we, have, we are louder. And so, but the, the, the fun thing, there's a reason for two genders there's a reason for two sexes and there's a reason and it makes sense to have the to take the, the strengths of the one gender and the strengths of the other and if you think about how to solve these problems together then we are a perfect team so i, I wouldn't say so actually for you, I angela know. merkel was a little bit more um, popular for you personally than stolz isn't it well i don't um <laughs> Angela Merkel has uh, did. She was our chancellor for 16 years. Has, Mr. Scholz is our chancellor for six, almost six, little more than six months right now. Um, he is not acting very. I don't agree to with many things he is doing right now. So, uh, but <laughs> let's let's wait. Let's wait and see. So I I, I will not. I will not. I will not judge. Uh, a chancellor after six or seven or eight months and also there are too many things i don't know right now so with for merkel with uh, angela merkel you can look 16 years back and you can say okay did she, she make the right choices but this is easy when you look back and you see the results and right now we don't see the results of the politics from from Mr. i agree i agree peter one question to you since that question i received from our listeners uh, Everybody is interested in a word that didn't exist a few years ago. They invented the word and now everybody asking, is your emotional intelligence good? What is your emotional intelligence? I don't know. Three, four years ago, we even didn't know the word. Now everybody is obsessed about emotional intelligence. Maybe before there was not a word for you. To survive this crisis, to be a good businessman, to be a good parent, to be a good aviation pilot, is this uh, emotional intelligence important in your opinion and how important is that well it's it's definitely important and it's definitely important to to consider that, that we have two kinds of brains to 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 put it in easy words we have two kinds of brains uh daniel Kahneman he named it the slow the slow system and the fast system the fast system is some kind of your gut decision you just you you meet a person and you think somebody is strange here i think everybody knows this feeling you're just first meeting or you see a document and say, I, I, something is weird you have no idea what but you get a very very fast first impression the disadvantage is this one this first impression is not very differentiated so it's fast and it's just black and white and then we have the small, the, the, the slow system, and the slow system this is more our conscious brain. And this conscious brain did ask a question, okay, why do I like her, for example? Or why do I do this, or why do I do that? And the fun thing, in an aircraft, you have every important system, you have at least two times, and you have, have it in two times, but on different bases. Um, for example, the, the, the artificial horizon, which is very important. So if you fly in back, bad weather, you have an artificial horizon. And this one, the first one is, is uh, powered by suction. And the other one is powered by um, uh, a small motor. So two systems. So if your suction fails, the, the other one, is, which is driven by a separate different system, still, is still working. And we have these two systems, and if we use them properly, um, we have the chance to have a double check for each system. So, for example, I'm, I'm in Berlin right now. We have early summer. It's perfect weather. So I go out and my, my gut decision says, Peter, you should go to beer garden. And first you have to have a big 
pot of ice cream. And then as a German, you should have some beers, not one, but some. This, my God, it, it's beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful evening, nice warm evening. Just go out and have fun. Then my brain says, Peter, uh, you have to finish this task and this task and you have to have an, have an interview tomorrow at seven. So it may not be a good idea to follow your gut and get drunk tonight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. I think the, 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 the first wrong way is what we always did, just tr trust your, your conscious brain. Be conscious, think, use your brain. This is the, this is the wrong way. But also, it's, it's the wrong way. Just trust your emotional in intelligence. Just that you, trust, trust your gut decisions. We have both, and we have both for a reason. We should use both, but we should have some fun by using it. So you know what I mean? Don't yes, take it too yes. seriously. There should be, you know, like love relationship between two brains. It's not that exactly. you should say one is not important, that they should work together. You know, they should support each other. And both of them, Without romance and without feelings, uh, we cannot survive. Otherwise, it will be robotic. And uh, I was working in Japan. I was actually diplomat, Russian diplomat in Japan. And my first foreign mm. language is Japanese. And I know this, you know, I, I love Japan. I love Japanese people. I respect uh, very much. But it's different, you know. If I will tell you, Peter, be like Japanese. For you, it will be easier than for me. Because you know, you know, like, like Russian style, Russian soul. It's very difficult to put it together and to think. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, you will not survive. So you cannot be romantic every day, and unless you are maybe a singer. And, and, they, and another thing yeah. comes into play, Olga. Um, over the last five years, we had a, a, a tremendous development of artificial artificial intelligence. And usually, a few years ago, you you could make the deal by your experience so i'm i'm a, i'm an expert in psychology or in, in communication or i train companies in this and that and i help them to do this and that um and a few years ago i could say i'm an expert and i wrote six books about this topic and said wow yeah but right now everybody has an has an, a smartphone and they are using their smartphone if you if we would talk if we would talk about Psycho psychology, for example, at the moment, everybody who's everyone who's listening right now would be able just to take out his smartphone and at first checking what we are saying: Are we right or are we wrong? Then every would everyone would would need three or four minutes to find the exception, and then you can say this is not right what you are saying. There's an I found the exception, so <laughs> I can't I can't make the deal by expertise anymore. The, the, yes, the, the even in this country, people coming and saying you are doing right surgery, that the wrong surgery, they're telling to the surgeon because I checked in Google, you should use exactly. that, that medicine because exactly. I read it. Are you a doctor? No, yeah. I exactly. do have medical education. No, but, but I read we, in Google. But what we can do right now, so we, we, we don't get the, the deal by expertise, but we can um, make the deal by doing something the computer at least until now, can't do. And this is the interpersonal, is the emotional connection. And this is, I'm so sorry for this. <laughs> I had to have it. I forgot to switch off my cell phone. But this is a perfect, perfect example. As a human being, you are, of course, you know, you definitely know you have to switch off your, off your, off your cell phone before you jump on a, on, a, on a video interview. This is, I know this, so I'm, I'm really sorry, but I'm a personal being. I'm a human being. And this means I make mistakes. This means makes, I make mistakes. First thing, I have to learn what, what are, the, what are the, the reasons that make me be able to do mistakes. For example, if right now would be here in Berlin, nine in the morning, I had a brilliant breakfast, enough, enough sleep, I probably would have thought about switching off my cell phone but it's in the evening i had a i have i don't know 12 or 13 hours of work behind me and i still have some in front of me <gasps> and this this makes it easier for me to make mistakes first thing second thing is i could say oh you are so stupid why the heck this is the now you got all the guy called and you stupid 
yeah, whatever, for God. But why? Why should I do this? Does it help? No, I just forgot, and this is a perfect example, I just forgot to turn off the cell phone. And now I can, I can next time just remember to turn it off. Yeah? But right now it happened, and I said, okay, it was a mistake, I, I, I apologized for it, but it happened, it makes no, don't cry over spit milk. It happened, I can't turn back the, 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 the clock, I can't turn back time. And I have to think about, okay, what do next? And what I did was, I said, okay, the cell phone um, rang and I, I felt sorry and I felt, felt a little bit ashamed for, by it. But I, That's I, why I, I'm I, saying I, that you are not 100% German. I already know that, Peter. Even <laughs> if you tell me there's some um, Spanish or Italian uh, blood still, still from your grand grand. What I did, it, what I did, I utilized it. So I, 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 I took it as an example. As advantage. You took it as advantage in a way. And now a everybody group. outside, this, this guy is a German, so he did this on purpose. Nobody can tell me he just forgot to tell off. Maybe he has a little remote control here with and steers it now, ring now, yeah? Just to have a proper example. Peter, my final question to you uh, is about your dream. For you personally, Peter Brandel, who is speaking from Germany, who wants to go to drink beer because Germans are famous. And my friends, they have a factory of beer in Neuzelle. This is a monastery where they're making beer for 500 years. So if you go to Neuzelle, please visit and drink the yeah. beer for sure. And I support them very much because uh, for me, I cannot see borders between countries and between people. On the yeah. contrary, I feel no borders. Uh, what is your dream? Because any dream that is told on Hidden Hero comes true. So be careful. Maybe my, my dream is a little bit uh, over ambitious. I don't know. But at, at the moment right now, what, 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 what drives me and what, I, what is the thing I'm thinking about so much is, to, is exactly the, 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 the situation we have in Europe right now. And my dream is that each and every one on this world can just get up, go on a train, on an air, air, airplane or in a car and drive wherever she or he wants to drive to and meet people there and uh, talk to the people, have some beers with them or I don't know, Coke, I, I don't care, but just meet the people without. And what I, what I, what I, what I, what I dream of is that we would live in a, in a, in a, in a, in a world where we try to uh, to understand the other one, we, where we just we don't have to we don't have to to accept everything and we don't have to agree with everything, but but where we try to understand everything, every the other one. And by this, when I'm thinking about the kids, I, I would uh, my dream is that we have a world where each and every kid on this world can live the life he or she wants to live. That is such a beautiful dream peter and it's not egoistic dream it's a dream for everybody in your dream you touch the soul of everybody even including kids that is a very big dream but since you manifested it at hidden hero it will come true thank you so much for being with us thank you very much everybody. my evening very inspirational and it's big honor to know you and Hidden Hero is with you. You know all my contacts and my um, helper, Igor, administrator, will be in touch with you. So whatever you want to do some cooperation with Dubai, with Kazakhstan, I will be always very happy. Thank you, Shum. And... Uh,